So this has a bolt in it and I don't have the right tools to get it out and it's prohibiting me from getting my saw over there in that direction. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut this one, the rest of this by hand, unfortunately. You know what I just remembered? That this company called Roto Razor had reached out to me and sent me one of their um, really cool seven in one power tools that they have. And I think it would work great for the situation that I'm in right now. So let me go get that. Here it is. So I opened it a couple weeks ago and um, took a peek at it or whatnot, but I haven't used it yet. It comes in this really nice, um, plastic durable carrying case and this is it it comes with three different saws or blades I mean three different blades it already has one blade in here already and then it comes with two in this little compartment right here and it can be you can have turn this saw into seven different saws including a jigsaw, circular, bandsaw, tile saw, hacksaw, and miter saw. And then it cuts um, like tile or wood or plastic or steel or anything you needed to cut through, you just switch the blades and it will do everything that you need it to do. And one of the really cool things that I was uh, looking into about this is that you don't have to adjust this piece to what you're cutting it automatically adjusts itself as you as you're as you're doing your cuts so i thought that was really cool um so yeah let's see let's see if this will get the job done instead of me using this crusty rusty saw here that i found in the camper when i bought it all right so i think you just pull this little trigger down here and this will make it go let me see i'm a little nervous this reminds me of the, um, that really scary tool. Oh, I can't think of it. But I used it when I was, um, oh, the grinder. Yeah, that's what this thing reminds me of. Scary. Let's see. Okay, yep. This little trigger down here starts her. And then I think this button up here, like I said, is what, um, enables this piece right here to move. So see right now it's locked in. Let me try. Push that. Okay, see, there you go. And then it'll it'll go and adjust to whatever you're doing. So you have to pull back on the trigger and push this at the same time. Here we go. Really need this to be. Locked down doesn't move because I need both hands. Usually I'm using one hand to hold it down because I don't have clamps and all that nonsense. All right, we're gonna see. pushing too hard because I was scared but man that cuts nice and quick all right I'm gonna give it a little bit more a little more gusto
Now I wish I had a nice little sand belt so I could sand all these edges really nice and flat and flush, but I don't have one or any sander for that matter. So we're just gonna have to make do. wondering how was I going to find another 4x4 four four or whatever the heck this piece of wood is to make four more legs but then it dawned on me maybe I could just pull the steps out and use that as my leverage and this is so freaking sturdy you guys some tweaking to it like any other project because I just eyeball everything and hope it turns out in the end which it usually does so that's always fun and this is looking pretty good so what I'm gonna have to do now is cut it I need to cut like a little notch in it right here so it'll fit underneath here and kind of tuck in like this, like a little groove, a little notch. And then it'll sit like that. And then I can make my cuts like this and over, this and over. So then I can put slats across like this for the steps going down. Man, I hope this turns out because this is the only piece that I have. So. As you know, I'm using scraps that I picked up from the side of the road from Hurricane Ian. So I don't have, you know, a second and a third of these things that I'm getting. I have to make sure that I make the right cuts the first time because there is no second time. So, so far so good. This is so confusing. Oh. I am really not sure 
if there is a method to this madness or if it's all just madness. But I'm just going to wing it and measure from where the bottom of this is. I'm going to make a little mark. So then I want another line going straight down this way that's going to come out about the distance of the width of this, which is about that long. So I'll need it to come out to at least here. Then I'll need to do a straight line up so it'll lie flush with this piece here. So I won't say about like lie at. Lie at that. Kind of like an angle like that. Maybe. We'll start little. Because if we go big, we can't always necessarily go home. Or maybe, maybe in this case we, we would have to just go home because we'd be all out of wood and we couldn't finish our staircase. So, but if we go little, then we can always go bigger if we need be. So let's give this a whirl. See if this did anything worthwhile. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. So. I think I could cut it from here to here and I could make my first step there, but that's too close to the top. I would want to make the first about oh, this is where it gets confusing what am I talking about it's been confusing this whole time okay so um so I'd want let's say a step maybe if I get on this side you guys can see what I'm actually doing right up here and then what did you guys say about how many inches it should be I think you all said seven inches right so according to that first step should be right about here Go down up and then another one one here I'd need to make my first cut going across this way. And then this would go up. Right? Man. I need to figure out the width. Oh! Now these fence panels are what I was going to use for my step pieces. So these are... about yay inches across. Let's just do it this way. Five and a half inches. So we're gonna go five and a half inches this way. Flat on the ground. 
get a nice straight cut. Used again. So this is how I figured it out. So I'd be cutting across here, going down here, and this is where I'd want the first step at, coming out from here. But then I'm going to have all this extra space up here, but I don't need a step that close. I don't know what to do unless I have that cut and I push this back further in. be there. And the first step will start right there. Maybe that's what I'll try. I hope this works so I don't have any more wood. I am beat. Oh my god, I am working at this part of the, the stairs all day long. And I am exhausted. But before I show you, if you guys are interested in this really cool little handy dandy 7-in-1 power tool from Roto Razor, please click the link that I am uh, putting down below and you will get an extra $40 off of your purchase and then I make a little commission off of it as well. So if it's not something you want to use for yourself, it'll make a great Christmas gift because don't forget the holidays are right around the corner. But um, yeah, well let me show you what these steps look like. <laughs> 